Chapter 5, Mikvah, M Mishnah 1. A mikvah is a pool of natural water, such as rainwater. A mayan, on the other hand, is a natural spring. A mikvah may not be flowing, and there must be at least 40 sa'a of water in the mikvah. A mayan, on the other hand, is fit for immersion, even if its water is flowing. Furthermore, utensils may be immersed in a mayan containing even a small amount of water, as long as there is enough water to completely cover the utensil. Generally, water of a mayan has an additional advantage, in that it has the status of maim chaim, living water. The Torah requires maim chaim for three things, for the immersion of zavim, for sprinkling on mitzorim, and for mechatas. The Mishnah begins by discussing a mayan that was directed to flow over and beyond a trough. The trough was hollowed out of a loose rock or the like and formed into a utensil before being connected to the ground. Such a trough is halakhically considered a container. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. If water of a spring was directed to flow over a trough with the stream continuing to flow farther after it passed through the trough, it is invalid, i.e. the spring water becomes she'uven by flowing through the cavity of the trough. Thus, one may not immerse anything in the stream once it goes through the trough. But if the water was directed over the edge of the trough, even a little, i.e. the stream of water was wider than the trough, so that some of the water flowed over the outer walls of the trough and thus did not become she'uven, then the water that is outside the trough is valid for immersion. This is because a mayan purifies in any amount, i.e. there is no required minimum amount for water of a mayan to purify. The Mishnah now discusses the law of a stream of water flowing from a spring, if the flow is interrupted and no longer connected with its source. If a stream of spring water was directed to flow into and over an empty pool, thus filling it with spring water so that it has the status of a mayan, and the stream of spring water connecting the spring to the pool was then interrupted so that the pool is no longer connected to the spring, the pool stops being part of the spring and becomes like a mikvah. It no longer qualifies as a mayan or as mayim chaim. If the stream was made to flow again, once again connecting the pool and the spring, the pool remains unfit for zavim and for the sprinkling of mitzorim with its water and for sanctifying mechatas from it. Although the renewed connection of the pool once again gives the pool the status of a mayan through hashaka, the water in the pool does not regain its status as mayim chaim. Since the pool now also contains water that had temporarily lost any connection with the natural current, the water in the pool cannot be regarded as mayim chaim. This disqualification remains until one knows that the original water that remained in the pool when its connection to the spring was interrupted has flowed out. As the stream of spring water flows continuously in the full pool, water flows out as well. Water that is a mixture of the original water and the new spring water. For the pool to qualify again as Maim Chaim, it is necessary to wait until it has been calculated that all the water that was originally in the pool has been carried away. At that time, all the water in the pool will be the fresh spring water and it will once again qualify as Maim Chaim.